Hey guys and welcome to the object slash edit mode tutorial for Blender. Object and edit mode are two very very important tools for modeling in Blender. If you want to learn how to model in Blender you have to learn the difference between object and edit mode as well as how to use each one effectively. So object mode is the default mode for Blender. If you look in the bottom left hand corner here you see this drop down menu. What's displayed here is the active mode which is currently object mode by default and you can switch it to any mode that you want for example edit mode and you can click here if you want to but I'll teach you how to use the hotkeys which is tab and you'll notice things look a little bit different so now everything is highlighted orange but your cursor has also turned into a crosshair so what this means when you're in edit mode is that you can actually select individual vertices now so I can right click and select these vertices and deform these vertices just like you would in object mode with G, R, and S with shift select selecting multiple vertices. You can use R like so, you can use S. Everything applies. You can use the axes. The transformation controls are completely the same. And if you want to go back to object mode, simply press tab again or use the drop down. So when you're in edit mode, that's when you do the modeling. This object cannot be deformed through manipulating the vertices when you're in object mode. So if we go into edit mode and we start tinkering with it and we say we want to drag this guy over here, drag this guy over here, I'm going to go ahead and take these guys, rotate it and scale it, and then press tab again. All those changes get saved into the mesh data and the object now has this shape. One more thing you need to know about edit mode and object mode is that they actually have separate undo histories. So as you may already know, Control Z is the standard shortcut for undo, and Control Shift Z is the standard shortcut for redo in Blender. Now, if you want to undo everything you did in edit mode, you have to be in edit mode to undo it step by step. So I'm going to go and show you how this works. And if I undo here, you'll notice everything that we did earlier is being undone step by step, including selection. So we're back to sort of where we started there. And I can go ahead and hit Control Shift Z to go back to where we ended up just to, to show you how things work. Everything works exactly as intended when I'm in edit mode. However, if I go out of edit mode by hitting tab, so if I go ahead and hit Control Z now, it will actually undo everything that we did in edit mode. Because while you're in object mode, going into edit mode is considered one step in the undo history. And so when you come back out of edit mode, it will actually read that as one undoable step and therefore undo everything that you did inside of your edit mode. Now, if you redo this, you can bring back your original mesh shape. However, if you go into edit mode and start undoing now, unfortunately, because it had essentially undid the progress that you did in edit mode, the undo history in your edit mode is now gone. So make sure you Keep that in mind and try not to undo in object mode by accident. That way you won't lose any undo history or any kind of work or anything like that. So that's the basic concept of object versus edit mode and is the first step for learning how to model in Blender. 